Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn how to get the user's input in programming in C. Now basically in the previous tutorials, if you may have observed, that all I was doing is creating a variable and assigning a value to it. Now what if I want to create a variable, but I want the user to assign a value to it. An example would be, let's say, if I want, let's say I display a message, enter your age. So I cannot assume what's the age of the guy who's using the program. I need to know what's the age, right? So in order to know that, I use something called a user input. But the best way is to show you with an example. Let's say I've got an integer age. Alright, I'm going to display a simple message on the screen saying that, you, uh, let's say, enter your age. Okay simple message that is going to be displayed on your screen saying that enter your age now I want the user to enter his age so in order to do that I need to use something called the scanf now this is another function in programming in C which is used to get the user's input as you may have observed that this has the exact same format as the printf function it has the exact same format only thing is different, you type in the scanf, the rest is the same, like the brackets, the quotation marks, the semicolon, the format is exactly the same. Now, in order to get a user's input, we need to keep a few things in the mind. Now, since I'm trying to get an integer value, all I need to do is, inside these quotation marks, type in percent %i. Right? So, what this thing is exactly the same as your printf. I am typing the percent %i in order to get the user's input. Now, the compiler doesn't know where to store this percent %i, right? It's going to accept one, but where to store it? Well, you need to you need to specify that. So you just type in the comma and type in the, the variable's name, which is h. But the only thing that is different over here that you need to type in an ampersand in the front. This thing is called as an ampersand this thing is used in programming in order to store a particular thing now I'm using to store a particular variable of the data type integer so now what it would do is it would display a message enter your age then it would wait the program would wait to accept an integer value which is going to be stored into the variable age it's that simple now due to demonstrator purposes demonstration purposes I'm going to display the value of a okay of h so you would see that it has been accepted so if I run the program you will see that it displays enter your age and it's waiting for the user to enter an age so I enter 12 for example or let's say 30 or 60 so it would print 60 since we have written a printf function afterwards, as you can see, printf percent %i age. So what it has done is basically displayed a message, waited for the user to put an input, alright? It, it has to be an integer value, since we have assigned an integer value, well, an integer variable, and once it gets it, then it will continue with the program. If you don't enter the input, it would stay in that program. Let's say, if we run the program, and I don't enter any value, just press enter, 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 it would not terminate the program. You need to enter a value over there. It doesn't matter anything. If you type in a character, for example, it would end the program. See, the program has been ended and would print in garbage value, alright? Because this is an integer. It does not store characters in it. So that's what it is this is how you get a user input in programming in C. It's extremely simple. It works exactly the same as a printf. The only difference is is this operator called the ampersand. That's the only difference. So if you want to print, you type in percent %i, comma, the variable name, as you can see over here. But the only difference it is, if you want to store it, you need to type in the percent ampersand sign. So anyway, this has been the channel of Dr. Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.